Hey everyone, welcome to Pie's Kitchen. Today I am making yet another Filipino dish. This one's such a classic. It is pancit canton, which actually means Cantonese noodles. So it's a Filipino interpretation of a Chinese dish. It's stir-fried noodles and this one uses egg noodles, which I love because I find egg noodles really easy to work with. But there are many, many different types of pancit out there and I would love to know what your favorite type is and describe it to me. Let me know in the comments. All right, let's get started. Let's talk noodles. So for this, you definitely want egg noodles, about medium thickness, not too thick, not too thin. Um, you can get egg noodles dry or fresh. I prefer fresh because I find the texture a little bit more chewy and satisfying. Um, it's also faster to cook, but if all you've got is dry, that's totally fine too. Moving on to vegetables. Vegetable options are really up to you for this, but think about texture and color, right? So I've got here some really beautiful colors here. I've got some Chinese broccoli. Make sure you slice the stems really thin and then just roughly chop the leaves. I also like carrots for that, you know, nice bright orange color. And I like to use a julienne peeler to just make nice little shreds. It's actually a really convenient tool. One of my absolute favorite tools in the kitchen. For some red and a little bit of heat, I'm using this long pepper here. Now at my grocery store, they label it long red pepper. It may actually have a different name, um, but it's sort of like a bell pepper, but much thinner with a kick, a little bit of kick. Okay. So I like that. You can just use bell pepper. You can use cabbage. You can use snow peas, sugar snap peas, anything you want. Okay. Now, the next one is very important. Chinese sausages. Some of you may know as lap cheng. It is Chinese sausages that are quite sweet and really fatty, really nice and chewy. So think of it as like salami, a sweet salami. So this is made from pork, but they do make chicken ones as well. They also make some out of liver. So there are actually many different types. So just, you know, make sure you read the label before you buy it. And now the sauce. So it's a very simple stir fry sauce using my three favorite sauces in the kitchen. And that is oyster sauce and fish sauce. So Filipinos and Thai share the love of fish sauce and also a little bit of soy sauce. And I am using Filipino brand soy sauce, um, Silver Swan for this, just because it is more intense than the Thai ones. And just give that a quick stir with a new mini whisk, a blue one. I'm just gonna add my black pepper right here. You don't have to mix it into the sauce, but I find that I forget it <laughs> when I'm cooking. So you know what, just throw it in now. Then I make sure I never forget it. That is it, let's get started cooking. So I'm gonna start by cooking the noodles first. I've just got plain boiling water here. All my noodles are going in. Now, mine will only take one minute, but that's going to depend on your specific ooh, brand of noodles. If it's thicker, it'll take longer. And also fresh noodles have different levels of hydration. So like some will take a little bit longer. So just make sure you give it a taste, make sure it's cooked through. All right, so that's done for me. I'm gonna take these out. And then to stop these from cooking, I'm going to dunk it in some cold water. I also find that it helps wash off any starch around the noodles. It helps the noodles separate more easily in the wok. But you don't want to let these sit in here like for a long time where it's going to continue to swell up. Just dunk it, cool it down, and then drain these right away. All right, so I've got my wok here. And the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna render some fat out of my lap cheng sausages. So I still need a little bit of oil for a little extra loop, but not too much without having to wait for the oil to get hot and without dropping a plate of sausages, um, just add these in. And then as you can see, there's like a ton of fat in there and that will slowly render out into that oil that we first added and it'll flavor the oil with the flavor that's in the sausages. And so once the other side starts to blister, that's when you go and turn them around. It doesn't have to be all blistered because a lot of the sausages will like to curl up. Very nice. So that looks good to me. So I'm just going to turn the heat off for now and then just remove the sausages. Be very quick with these and just wash them because there's quite a bit of sugar in the sausages so they can burn um, rather quickly. Did I burn a couple? Oh no, it's not burned. It's just extra caramelized. That's what I always tell myself when I burn things. And then one more protein I'm going to add. Now this is completely optional. You can just do the Chinese sausages alone, but I'm also going to add some shrimp. Okay, so I'm going to turn the heat back on. 
And now that oil is well flavored with the sausage flavor. Add my shrimp to sear. I always like to woo, cook my protein separately just so I can control exactly how done they are. And if you don't want to get too many oil splatters, make sure you dry your shrimp. Just a few seconds per side. These shrimp do not take long, so maybe like 30 seconds on each side and they are done. All right, and that is it. They are firm and curled up and orange. Now, I know that oil doesn't look so hot right now, but it's so much flavor from the sausages, from the shrimp. And now we're gonna add more flavor by adding some aromatics. So onion and garlics going in. Ooh. Heat not too high. You don't wanna burn the garlic too quickly. Just try to break up the onions. Now, if you like your onions super soft and melty and sweet, you can add your onion first. Let that cook down a little bit, then add the garlic. So now you notice that the garlic is starting to brown slightly around the edges. That's your cue for adding your vegetables. Ooh. And the wonderful thing about the choices of vegetables that I chose is that I can add them all at the same time. Like if you've chosen something that's harder, that takes a longer time, you may need to add that first, cook that down first, or blanch it first. So look at that, look how pretty that is. Now, just to spread some love, I'm gonna add just a little bit of sauce on the vegetables, give them a chance to get seasoned. Ah. And once the vegetables are wilted, going in with my noodles, I switch weapon, pour the rest of the sauce over the noodles. And then I toss like my life depends on it. Oh, you know what I forgot to do is cut the noodles down. Not too late. I'm going to quickly take scissors and just snip a couple of times just because I find it's so much easier to work with to eat anyway, just after they're a little bit shorter. And now you're just trying to get everything mixed together, drying the noodles, allowing the noodles to absorb all that liquid. Mmm, I can smell that black pepper. Woo. Now, everything's dry. I am not gonna forget to put in my shrimp. If there's juices collected at the bottom of the shrimp bowl, just go ahead and pour that in. It's extra flavor. And my lap chung as well. Oh, there's some extra caramelized one. We're going to pretend that never happened. And that is it, you guys. It is done. How easy was that? Look at that. Mm. You want to make sure you pay attention and grab all the veggies and the shrimp and the sausage because it's kind of hard to make sure you get an even distribution of everything. So ideally, I would like to finish this dish by giving it a good squeeze of calamansi on top to brighten up the flavor. And calamansi are these tiny little Filipino limes. They look like tiny limes, but the flesh inside is orange. I could not find that anywhere. I went to like three different stores. They don't have it in Vancouver. Um, well, right now anyway. So what I'm gonna do is like a makeshift thing. So I've been told that calamansi tastes like a combination of lime and orange juice. So that's exactly what I'm gonna do. So I've got here just some tart orange juice. You want something tart, not super sweet. And I'm gonna just add some lime into it. And that will approximate the effect of calamansi. I even tried looking for frozen juices, couldn't find that too. But this will do. You can just do lime. I'm just being particular here. Ooh, there we go. You know, just like a pad thai, you know, it just like lightens and brightens everything. Give that a good toss. Get some sausage and some vegetables. Oh, I can smell that citrus. That is exactly what I need right now. Like, if you think Asian comfort food, this is the embodiment of Asian comfort food. Chewy noodles, and you know, you've got vegetables for some crunch, but it's well balanced flavors. You bite into the sausages and you get chewy and sweet. A little kick from black pepper, brightness from the citrus. I mean, it's so, so good. Really kid friendly, too, by the way. There's nothing spicy in here. Oh, and it's one of those dishes that once you start, it's really hard to stop. So speaking of that, I'm gonna go so I can finish the rest of this bowl. So the recipe, as always, will be on piskitchen.com. When you make it, 
send me a photo on Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram. If you haven't subscribed to the show, make sure you do so you don't miss an episode. And make sure you click that little bell icon as well so you get a notification every time I post a new video. If you love the show and you want to support us, check out the Patreon link in the description below. And I will see you next time for your next delicious adventure. Where's your fork? Your tasting fork. Ah! It's fine. I'm totally under control. Here. <laughs> it's fine. Nobody panic. <laughs>